Hello, my beautiful Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your weekly mystic for February the 13th through February the 19th of 2023. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs, and it's a forecast for the week's energy, so you kind of know how to make some plans if you've got something you want to set up or finding the right day with the right energy. This is the reading for you. So remember, this is collective, so it's for all sun, moon, and rising signs, which means please, if you'd like to have a personal reading, reach out to me at royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And one more little piece of housekeeping, please hit the like button. Even if you haven't subscribed and don't want to subscribe, please hit the like button. That helps me to get into the great and powerful Google and to have the algorithms promote my video. So I appreciate that. And we'll move forward in the energy. We have the Two of Pentacles and the beautiful Page of Pentacles. So this is you really working toward your goal with the momentum you need and not being distracted. Here comes the payoff for that. That Page of Pentacles is the offer coming in. This is someone extending the offer. The Page is always a messenger and he's bringing the, the information of what they're offering. Hello. We'll take that as a nice start. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. Well, that definitely goes with the offer. This is the Hierophant, Taurus Major Arcana, but it represents a large corporation, government agency or entity. It can even be being allowed permission to join something or be part of something like a university or a group. This is the energy of a yes. It's a welcome wagon being rolled out. So it goes right along with that page of pentacles. It looks like somebody's getting some relief right here. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sun, Moon, and Rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So here we go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Sunday energy, weekend energy combined. And the underlier, well, man, we're on target today. The message is here very clearly. The Knight of Pentacles. This is the courier. The abundance has already been allotted and is on its way to you as we speak. It's being delivered right to your front door. Knight of Pentacles. Yay, team. So this is a real strong theme. And, uh... <laughs> Continue to manifest. The magician energy is focusing on your goal and not letting yourself get sidetracked. Stay in the energy of receiving what you already want and not what you are experiencing. Focus only on the end result, though. Don't get convoluted and try to give the, you know, we don't want to micromanage the universe. We just want to be in a place where we are focused on the outcome we want and not the problem. So pray the answer, not the, pr not the problem, right? So here we go. We're in the beautiful energy of moving through this beautiful month. Uh, just started, but it seems like it's already just cranking on through. And here we go. Monday. I'm just trying to get that straight. Tuesday. <laughs> and it wants to be sideways. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. And Saturday, Sunday. The underlier here is the two of rods, which means moving forward, you get to choose what you feel is most ap appropriate for you and, and not have to worry whether you're it, taking the wrong way forward. Both of these are in the same position. You can move forward very easily. They're running parallels. So there's no wrong answer. So the two of rods is the ability to seize the day in the right way. For you, remember, this is one of those very few times in life where you don't have to consider what everyone else thinks. You can get their opinion, but it's not like you're forced to do what they say. And I have to fix that because it's driving me nuts. And it just wants to be one side or the other, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> Universe. 
The universe will show me the right path to take to reach my goal. Well, how about that? Doesn't that match? Absolutely. That two of rods, it's showing you the right path to take to reach your goal. And we're still right in the message. It's very much in that place. Relax. I choose to relax and not fill my mind with worry as that creates stress. Let me tell you, I just ran myself through a whole little exercise of of trying to hold, trying to do some, trying to take control when the universe needed to. And the universe basically took it right back out of my hands. As soon as I tried to make it push forward, nothing was happening and it was kind of going sideways. And I went, oh, oh, wait, I, I forgot. And I had to just let it go. And the universe righted itself and it came through with what I needed it to come through with. I'm just telling you, stop trying to take it back from the universe. Once you give it over, you have to leave it be and let it be created. Okay. Let's see what our crystal energy is for this week. Hedonite. Gratitude. This is a beautiful stone. Let me see if I can not knock everything down and I'll grab. So this is what it looks like when you get it from the dollar bin in the, <laughs> in the crystal shop. It's, it's a really pale, pale green. It's very close to this color. As you can see, when I put it next to it, it's closer. So it is the energy of gratitude. Now, I love the name Hedonite because, you know, it goes right along with that Heden. <laughs> Heathens, right? So Hedonite, I like the sound of it, and I think it's funny. Realization is our beautiful mystic um, sacred geometry activation energy. My brain went pause the frequency of realization and that's our card supports the internal process of becoming aware of your heart-centered truth as well as the external process of becoming your highest expression to the world so allowing yourself to focus and fully realize your potential or your full success and abundance so we love that. Okay, here we go. Drum roll. Yeah, just right into, I was just losing my mind for a second. Right into the energy of Monday. Monday, Monday. Well, the very nice. We have the emperor and the high priestess. Both of these are energies of completion. The Aries major arcana is the emperor, but it is the en energy of maturity and something coming to full fruition. And it's telling you, just like it said earlier, Allow yourself to go with the flow, and you'll be shown the way as long as you don't try to control it. Relax and allow the universe to bring this to full fruition for you. We love the energy of the emperor. It is the energy of the masculine of the entire universe, and it means the universe has your back. And victory with the six of wands and the three of wands or rods. I like to say... Uh, <laughs> If I get confused, sometimes I'll say wads. So <laughs> I'll put the W with instead of the R on the rods. So three of rods is the energy of coming to a complete cycle on whatever it is that you're leaving behind you. He's got his back to those and he's facing the future. So this is a completion. It's not giving up or walking away with something half done or feeling incomplete. This is where you know it can stand on its own and you've taken it as far as it'll go. And there you have the next step in your in your evolution here. Now, what you know that this is a good completion because you have the six of wands here telling you this is a ticker tape parade in the celebration of the victory that you've just achieved. It also means being head and shoulders above the rest and being the front runner for the position. So yay team for that one as well. Three of rods, six of rods. Not doing too shabby and we're only at Tuesday. Wednesday, leadership energy, fire sign energy. You've got the Leo major arcana, the strength card, and the fire sign king, which means Aries, Leo, and Sag. This is a beautiful energy. This is the energy of entrepreneurship or being in a leadership position. And the Leo strength card is Archangel Ariel. Ariel is the lion of God. This is the energy of walking towards your goal with the protection and loyalty of this wonderful lion to assist you in accomplishing all that you have set out to accomplish without anybody absconding with you or interrupting you. Or derailing you. My guides are shouting these words out. So I'm repeating what they're saying. They're going, oh, then this one and that one. <laughs> oh, oh. 
Okay, so we now have Sagittarius energy. So we ha- just want to point this out. Aries, Leo, Sag. Isn't that funny? Okay, so Archangel Gabriel is blowing the horn of resurrection. This is something returning to viability. It's something that was taken off the table and you thought was over with and done. And now it's coming back around for another opportunity with the synchronicity of Archangel Uriel, who is the energy of bringing something in that is absolutely in alignment with what you're supposed to be doing. She is the king or queen or angelic whatever that would be, uh, the lead the lead angel on this one because she is all about that light and that energy of the life force. And she's doing alchemy to create circumstances that are absolutely in the perfect alignment for you to move into this energy. So yay team on that. So that's Thursday. Friday's energy. Yes. Looks like Friday's a big day. We got the clarity of the Ace of Swords which is cutting you free from past obligations and allowing you to step into the victory. This is success. It is a gift from divine. All aces are gifts. And that's the Ten of Rods, my dears. That's the energy of a fresh new start, closing the door to the past, the releasing of the struggle, and letting go of the burdens as you move forward with all new prosperity and abundance. We love the Ten of Rods. And last but not least... Don't overthink it. Stay focused and let the logic go. When you're asking for a miracle, my darlings, logic is the very last thing that a miracle would include. It's got to be in the energy of never seen before, wonderful, amazing new energy, right? So don't try to figure it out. You're wasting your energy and you're pulling your focus off the goal. Go within and tell the universe what what you want. Remember the destination, just like a GPS. You have to put in the destination. You can't tell it step by step how to do it. It's going to tell you. So then we have the King of Cups, which is the energy of a heartfelt, genuine, authentic person who has your highest good in their hearts, whether it's a relationship or a job. This is the energy of having someone really care about your movement forward and how you progress in this wonderful life that we live. So I hope that you all have a beautiful week. This is a great energy for lots of abundance coming in, and I allow and receive all of it for myself and for you, and as we release the energy of resistance and we allow ourselves to move forward, even if we don't know how it's going to happen, keep the goal the first thing in your mind, and don't accept anything less. Many blessings to you all. I'll see you next week. Peace, happiness, joy, abundance, divine love, healing, and prosperity to you all. Namaste, my friends.